Hi everyone and welcome back to another review of Lazy Ass of Bastard. My name is Rune and today we're going to be looking at the brand new Spagna Arms Edge 2.0 series, the H21. But before we continue, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and ring that bell to be notified about our latest videos. Also, feel free to check out our Facebook or Instagram page. So let's see what's inside of the box. Now if we open it, you get your standard Spectre Arms stickers. I don't actually use them, but what also handy is this user manual. Now I have to say the user manual for the uh, MOSFET is not in the box, but you can just download it online. It's about 62 pages. Now we see the foam again like we're used to with the Spectre Arm Edge series, which I think is a really good way of packing your gun. I don't like the way the gun is packaged in the core series, or like the GNG one, I didn't think that was the best packaging material. I do think Spagna Arms just got that point just right. Now as you can see, what do you get with the gun? So of course we have the gun itself. It sits really comfortable and nice. You do have a downgraded spring, so the internal spring shoots just a little bit too high for Belgian market. It shoots around a 370, 380 FPS. But with this uh, M90 spring you can downgrade that to around 300, 310 FPS. Now further you get also a uh, polymer foregrip, which I think is really nice. I have the same one on my Edge series, the uh, E13, so that's really nice to have in there. Of course you get, again with the Edge series, you always get the two S-Max mid-cap magazines, which are really nice that they put the mid-caps in it. I'm an absolutely fan of mid-caps. You also get the Aster car for programming your uh, system by the trigger setting and without a USB cable to the MOSFET. And of course you get your uh, Deans to Tasmania connector. Now I always prefer the Dean connector because I think it's a more better and stable way of connecting your battery. So that's it for the unboxing. Let's have a look at what I think about it. Before we continue I would like to say a big and special thanks to my friend the staff for letting me review his gun. Now he bought it but didn't touch it yet so we were the first one to test it out, have a feel of the build quality and of course review it for you guys. Now as you see the H21 and of course the H20 with the shorter barrel are based on the HK416 platform. Now you can see this also on the sides uh, with the nice drum sight. Now I have to say it's a metal build uh, quality which is a step up from my E13 version. Uh, I do really like the feel of the sights, they're really sturdy and easy to use. Now as of the Edge series we used to, it's a metal build construction with actually no play on the upper and lower receiver the only play we have is of course with the magazine and a little bit with the buttstock but that's normal. The wiggling with the buttstock you can actually solve with a little bit of tape on the buffer tube and it's sitting really sturdy that's what I do with my gun. Now if we look further so it's a metal build it has enough rail space for lights, pack boxes, uh, cameras, grips, everything you need. Now, of course, the fire selector switch comes with the fine logos of safe, semi and of course full auto. Now, I have to say the selector clicks in really nicely and you won't accidentally go from semi to burst or full auto. So that's a really nice feature. Now, of course, the bolt catch in here also has a function, but we'll come to that later. Now, if we look on the other side, we have, of course, our magazine release, which makes it really easy to get the magazines out. Now, the standard magazines that it comes with has these little SA logos on it, which is really nice. I do prefer this, these M4 style magazines. I think they're a little bit better and only holds 5 BBs less. But let us know in the comment section which magazine you like the most. My M4 style magazine, or rather the S-Max of Spagna Arms. So let us know which one you like the most. Now of course you have your magazine release and what's also really cool is when you pull back the charging handle to adjust the hop up with normal guns you have to hold it with this one alright it stays open you can adjust your hop up once you're done you go to your bolt catch 
and it closes so that's a really cool feature extra on the system now if we move further along the pistol grip is a little bit of an improvement over mine version of course it's a 2.0 version and the stock is actually huge and big but doesn't fit all much battery space i have to be honest if you have a titan power nunchuck battery it won't fit in here it's just a little bit too tight you have to push it really hard and i'm afraid you won't get your battery back out easy now if we use my vb power batteries it definitely fits in perfectly so it's something you have to keep in mind when you buy this gun now for the rest it has also a lot of features now the sling attachments on the stock i would recommend not to use just use the sling point attachment right here on the buffer tube now that's it about externally it's really straightforward now internally you know also uh, that all spagna arm series comes with the orion gearbox and of course with the quick change spring now an improvement on the previous edge series is that this quick change spring doesn't require you to have any tools which makes it easier to swap springs out on the field now what also comes extra in this one is the aster gate which actually is a mosfet and a gate unit com combined now i do love this one now the idea of a staff is to build it later on to a dmr setting but also to convert it back when he needs to be as a rifleman now the easy part is you can actually set your gun to semi semi and save of course but also to semi save semi burst and that you can all program through the trigger unit which makes it e really easy to go to a field select it how you want to play it and then just play it you don't need any computer now there's a lot of more settings to do with the Aster gate but then of course you need for easy of use a usb connector to your computer but i think it's a really scale up from what I have in my unit and it's just a regular MOSFET so I do like it now I hear a lot on the internet that the Aster gate sucks right out of the box but actually we had a little bit of trouble here on the auto side that it goes auto burst auto now I have read the manual which is 26 uh, 62 pages long and it just has a really easy reset for your trigger calibration once I did the reset of my trigger calibration it just went from safe semi to full auto no problem so that's something to keep in mind now for the rest I really think it's a very good gun for the price point here in Belgium you pay between the 250 and 260 euros for this gun and it's really worth every euro or every penny I should say um, I do think I will pick myself the H20 version with the shorter barrel up maybe not now but in the future um, if my wife doesn't know <laughs> but um, I do think it's really fun uh, the only thing I do would like to see is that we actually have more color scheme than just black I would love to have a half tone tan or tan and black or all tan version just so I could blend in further uh, in outdoor playing because black still stands out but other than that it's a really decent gun for your money and we do recommend to buy these Pagna arms definitely if you're a beginner or you're just an, uh, between a beginner and a very expert um, I think they give a lot of features that Tokyo Marui does also feature the only thing you don't get is the recoil uh, yeah, the, the recall with the new Tokyo Marubis. But I have to say, it does really the job well for the price point. Now, I do hope you like this video. If you do, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell to be notified about our latest video. Also, don't forget to check out our Facebook or Instagram page. And of course, I hope to see you one day on the field. Thank you for watching.